This video will demonstrate how easy it is to take the data from version 1 of the Project Planner Excel template to version 2. If you have data in the version 1 file, you can watch the video to understand how you can move it to version 2 and start getting all the benefits of version 2. Now I have both project planners open. The one on the left is version 1, the one on the right is version 2. We're going to take the data from version 1 and move it into version 2. So first thing I'm going to do is to copy all these and one easy way to copy all these in general is click anywhere inside the table and then do control A that selects all the data. Control C will copy the data and now move over here right click paste special values and, and that moves all the data over to the second file. In the version 2, we actually enter the planning period start and end date over here. In version 1, we actually had it right here. So, you know, you can just type it in June 5th and the end date was September 5th. Okay, so now we have moved on from the planning period and let's look at the rest of the settings. So one is the company weekends and company holidays. So it's very easy to copy and paste there. I'm going to just demonstrate right click, paste values and that moves your data over here. One which is different is how the resource personal leave was set up back in version 1 and how it is set up in version 2. So this is going to be a little bit more work but essentially you, you find the resource name first and then you will paste them as values first and then now if you had multiple dates so let's just make it up for example this person also has September 1st as a personal leave. So copy both, select both I click copy or control C come over here paste as values so now you actually will have two rows and you can easily drag and fill because it's the same resource taking two days off in the version one we did not have hours tracked for personal leave it's only the whole day but here we have the ability to actually provide how many hours they're taking on leave. So if this person was scheduled to be there for eight hours and taking the whole day, you can type in eight. If you want to customize it and change it to something else, you can do that too. You can, you will have to repeat that process again for each resource that you have and move all the data over to version two. Now let's look at projects. For projects, we will actually select the project ID and project name, copy, right click, paste special values, and then we will move on to the project priority column and then right click paste values. And then we come back here, project description, preferred start date and end date, we'll paste them over here. There you go. Project fixed cost is a new column, so if you want to track any additional fixed costs, you would enter them here. Now we'll move on, moving on to tasks on both sides. Now I'm going to select these five columns, all those values. So what I did was, let me do it again, select cell A8, press shift, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow, right arrow. So we have selected all these five cells now and I'm going to do con press control now while keeping the shift key pressed now I'm going to press the down arrow so it's basically control shift down arrow now all these cells have been selected control C right come over here to the second version right click paste special as values now it's going to add all these 250 tasks that we have over here over to the new template as you can see it's already starting to work and the other columns that you have you can copy and paste the values from the
these columns over onto the new version as it is. The task preferred end date is a new column over here in the new version and then you will see a couple of new columns like max daily allocation and milestone but all the other fields remain the same and again as usual please do not edit any of the columns um, that are colored in green they are calculated fields and they don't have to be modified and now that's it so we have migrated all the data from the version 1 into version 2 so quickly and now we are getting the benefits of the new features added to version 2 and you'll see the plan summary you will see the timeline view has been upgraded you'll see all the resource summary information task schedules have been significantly upgraded with better um, labels you know uh, updated customizable Gantt chart and as soon as we put in the right start date let's put in a start date and let's see how the Gantt chart gets populated so this is very very easy and fast and now you can also get the Gantt chart customized to do monthly weekly daily so these features were not available in version 1 and now you're able to get all the benefits so just to wrap up this video demonstrated how you can take the data from version 1 and migrate it to version 2 of this Excel template if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me at inzara at gmail.com or leave me a comment on inzara.com and thank you very much for supporting with version 1 of this template and providing a lot of valuable feedback that helped me create these additional features in version 2. Thank you very much for your support.